Hey y'all, Boogie Knight here. How's it going? And welcome back to Sonic Boogie Plays What Remains of Edith Finch. Now, I, I know that we should be playing Narcosis next, but honestly, I could not stay away from this game long enough. So, um, when we started this in the last episode, we have... I can't describe it, but I felt like some part of Molly was still here. Okay. Um, we started this game, we entered the um, Finch Estate in the Pacific Northwest, or uh, I guess we should call it the Ape Area. I forgot I can't crouch. Um, and there's been a lot of family tragedy, and Molly, her sister, recently passed away, or probably not recently, but passed away from something, I'm guessing, of an eating disorder. And she really liked cats. So I'm very interested to see how this game uh, progresses. So let's take a look and see what goes on. Oh, God. We're going out on the balcony. Don't don't pull the Molly other kid, please, Edith. This will be obvious later, but my mom never told me any of these stories. Edie would have, but mom didn't like bringing up the past. Though, when we adopted a stray kitten... She was the one who named it Molly. Why am I not surprised? I, I I can't say enough good things about this view. I mean, the the graphics are second to none. Once again, I keep going back to Ethan Carter, but that's the only baseline I can find. It's over here. Oh, okay, the library downstairs. Okay, why does it keep going? That's interesting tonal shift. Okay, so I'm guessing the whole point is to continue to explore the, um, the aviary, I guess we should call it. Yes, I made another bad bird joke. And you go. I spent a lot of time in Great Grandma Edie's room. Exhibit A, look at the bird cages. Okay, what's next? Okay, so what is next? Let's take a look the at this. like a museum. I'll say, holy cow. Oh, I remember for one of those when I was younger. Years, the Finches have been famous throughout Norway for their fortune. And misfortune. Odin Finch buries the latest victims of the family curse. His wife, Ingeborg, and their newborn son, Johan. On January 7th, 1937, he set sail with his family and his house, hoping to leave the curse behind. But 40-foot waves off the coast of Washington send the house and Odin to the bottom of the sea. I would make a Valhalla joke, but this is very inappropriate. Odin's daughter Edie, with husband Sven and baby Molly, step ashore on their new home, Orcas Island. Odin Finch is the first to be buried in the new family cemetery. Lovely. His daughter Edie is already dreaming of a new Finch house. We're back. Okay. How do I get out of this? Can I get... There we go. Whatever's wrong with this family, it goes back a long ways. <sighs> uh, I'll say. I, I really do love that when you push certain things, you are really controlling Eve's action. Like, you have to hold down S to close the book. You have to hold down S to step away. This is very well done. There was a lot of thought Maybe that... he told people Sven was killed by a dragon. She could also have said he was building a dragon-shaped slide that collapsed. She could have, but she didn't. He sounds like quite the storyteller. Built 1937, Sven Finch. He won't go. <laughs> One summer, they evacuated the island, but Edie refused to go. For a few weeks, she was a celebrity. You know, given some of my mother's sorority sisters, I wouldn't put it past them either. What's this? I hadn't thought of myself as Edith Jr. for a long, long time. Mole man beneath the Finch house. Oh, that's pleasant. Edie gave a big interview about a mole man living under the Finch house. My mom was furious. Yeah, doesn't everybody know the moles only live in New York City subways? Come on. Even in her 90s. Sometimes Edie seemed a lot younger than my mother. I don't want to leave just yet. I want to just take another squint around the room. What's this? What if it 
Spin of beauty. Can we take a look in here? I guess not. Beasts of nature, orcs, and crake. Once again, as I said in the last episode, I would really love just to have like 10 minutes alone with their library. It'd be fascinating. Eh, wow, that is quite a pink bog. The only trace Grandpa Sam's first wife Kay left on the house was the pink bathroom. I would be... It was a pretty big trace. Yeah, I would be extremely nervous to use this. Froggy glasses. And yeah, it's a very foggy mirror. It doesn't exist, or I am a ghost. What about here? What's this? Hang on. Do I have a key? I don't remember. Oh, I do. Okay. There's a secret in this bathroom. Lovely. Can I open that? Come on. Oh, there we go. I gotta open the latch first. There's a secret in this bathroom. It's in the last place you would look. It isn't in the cupboard. It's hidden in this book. <laughs> I love this game. I don't know about y'all, but I just, I find just the intricacies and the secrets. It's Sen gave Sam an old camera he'd refurbished. He never put it down. It's just, I mean... The plot is obviously pretty straightforward. I mean, this is pretty much a walking simulator, but just the exploration, just the attention to detail is brilliantly done. Okay, so I just have to walk. From the paintings on the wall, it was clear my brother Milton had been here before me. Along with the booze. Out you go. What's next? Fort Calvin? Aww, oh, we got the little bunk beds going on here with the brothers. Calvin, Fort Sam. That's aw, oh, that's awesome. And Liss, I'm guessing one of them joined the military. Explore the universe in space. I knew Grandpa Sam had a twin. And that he never talked about him. To command center. <laughs> that's awesome. I guess my grandpa didn't like history any more than my mom did. Mission Enter Salt Command Central? What's this? How I Want to Remember My Brother by Sam Finch. The thing I remember is that when he made up his mind, that was it. Oh, cool. We have to push ourselves on the swing. My brother said he'd die before he ate another mushroom. And he did. Oh no. Oh no. I don't as like where this is going. Was, we swore he'd never be afraid again. And he wasn't. I think Calvin always wanted to fly. Oh, don't tell me that. Don't tell me that. Sam! Calvin! Get us ready! Coming! But that day, he finally made up his mind to do it. Oh no. I told him going around was impossible. Maybe if I hadn't said that. Calvin, I'm not gonna tell you again. Maybe if the wind hadn't picked up. Then maybe he'd still be here. But I doubt it. I think he'd already made up his mind. Oh no. That's what I want to remember about my brother. <laughs> the day he made up his mind to fly. Oh god. He did. story felt strangely familiar. When I was younger, I remember trying to do the exact same thing. Who hadn't? I mean, who didn't want to, you know, get the swing upside down? God, when I was, when I was six, my buddy Joey and I, we 
We try that all the time. Yeah. Edie roped off Calvin's half of the room. God, there were times when our swing set would, you know, bounce out of the concrete because we were trying so hard. Now, who's on? Oh no, are we going to the next command post? What's this? Okay, never mind. Mom said Grandpa Sam enlisted at 18 and never set foot in the room again. What's this? I like nesting dolls. It's like a fun house. The passages were a pretty tight fit. They'd obviously been built for smaller hands and bellies. Smaller hands and bellies? Wait, wait, wait. Edith, are you... Are you pregnant? I mean, maybe I'm just grasping at straws, but I feel like everything in this game is done for a reason. How about here? Growing up, I always thought of Barbara as a child star. Can we go back in for a second? I want to do a quick exploration before we go into this next area with the... Uh... Oh, let's see if I missed anything. Back out here. Whenever people ask me about my family, the first thing they always want to know about is Barbara. this. Edie's father Odin built the original house. Guess the next stop is Barbara, but I'm gonna take another look. So Mom must have locked the third floor stairs on the night we left. Which I'm sure we'll get to eventually. Nice wine rack. Oh god. Oh, I want to look at the booze. Hang on. Enchilada Vineyards, she has 12 Pinot Noir. Of course, leave it to me to take a second to look at the at the stuff. Orange tabby. Uh, not too bad. Uh, let's go see what's up with uh, Barbara, shall we? My friend Bigfoot. Well, it is the Pacific Northwest. Show of hands. Tell me she does not look a little bit like the copper tone baby. I never thought about how hard it must have been for her afterwards. Happy birthday, Barbara. Oh, that's cute. What's this? A little shrine? Oh no. Just like with Molly. Of all the stories people wrote about Barbara's death, I'm surprised Edie saved oh, this one. Oh, not another death. God damn it. Old Jack here with another ghastly tale inspired by America's most unfortunate family. I'm calling it the surprise ending of Barbara Finch. Lovely. As a child star, Barbara was famous for her scream. Now at 16, she was all washed up. A has-been. But in a lucky break, she'd been asked to perform her signature scream at a local convention for monster movie fans. It was just the boost her career needed. That is one well-endowed witch. Her scream hadn't aged well. <laughs> Getting better. I think you just need the right motivation. Her biggest fan, and current boyfriend, Rick, was about to demonstrate when... That'll do. That was a great scream. It was Barbara's father, Sven. He'd slipped into a table saw and had to be rushed to the emergency room. So Barbara got stuck babysitting her youngest brother, Walter. Her convention comeback was cancelled. Okay, I'm hearing frustration, 
but I'm not hearing terror. What if I tried... A gang of hoodlums and Halloween masks have been terrorizing Orca's Island tonight. Police are urging residents to... That came from the basement. You're right. Also, I loved your delivery on that. <laughs> Why is your basement door locked? Because my dad likes making puzzles in secret passages. There's a key hidden in the music box. The secret is to keep winding and winding until finally the key pops out. Thanks, babe. I'll be back in a sec. This is like some Scooby Doo style stuff. Rick hadn't returned, so Barbara went to look for him, right on cue. She reached for the music box. Oh, we're in control. And as she wound the key, that's awesome. For Rick, but the house was silent. And they're playing the Halloween theme music. Awesome. Oh, this is sweet. We're actually in control of her. She found Rick's crutch and imagined the worst. <laughs> oh, I think this has turned into condemned criminal origins. All head full. So we go from Halloween to I know what you did last summer. Great. All right, let's do this. I've got a crutch and I'm not afraid to use it. I can see where I'm going. There we go. Can't. See. There we go. Part of me just wants to stay in the basement and listen to that awesome music. Come on, let's go. Okay, I guess the only place where it goes back down, all that full. Damn it. Oh, that's another moment with the music. Let's see, what am I missing? Oh, here we go. Sorry, y'all, missed that entirely. Mortal words of Josh, come at me, bro. Oh dear. Oh. Rick? Your fault. Barb, relax. I was just trying to scare you to help you find your scream. Well, I'm not scared, Rick. I'm furious. Then act furious. All I'm getting from you now is that you're hurt and confused and you're. She threw him out. But she kept a little something to remember him by. Barb, have you seen my other crutch? And nope. she was still holding it when she fell asleep watching the late, late picture show. Hours later... Barbara! Walter, what's going on up there? Ah! Oh, okay, no. I'm coming up, but if this is a trick, you're dead, Walter. I love how I, once again, I, the hell, oh, okay, get out of my way. <laughs> if you could see the look on my face, I'm grinning like an idiot just because growing up and reading com roller skates, reading comic books, I always wonder what it's like to actually live one from a first person perspective. Describe the man as six feet tall with a steel hook for a hand. Residents are urged to lock all doors and windows and notify the police of any suspicious activity. Oh boy. I returned, saw the hook man, and was speechless. He was quite smashing. <laughs> Barbara, there's gotta be
be another way out of here. Okay. This house is honeycombed with secret passages. Get out of my way. Oh, here we go. In you go, Barbara. She played her part beautifully. Molly's room? Yeah. After him? Of course not. But just watch, he's not gonna be there. We're gonna turn the corner, he is not gonna be there. Yep. Who called it? She listened for his breathing, but all he heard was. Answer the door, you dumb mook. Oh, the plot says so, so let's do this. She heard whisper. It was coming from inside the house. Oh dear. Yes, that's exactly what I would say of a surrender by Friends and family. The monsters had come to surprise her. For Barbara, it was a dream come true. Then she saw what kind of monsters they were, and she realized what was about to happen. She was going to be famous. And with her final breath, Barbara Finch gave the performance of I wasn't there myself, but I hear Barbara was magnificent. Poor girl. She had a taste for stardom. But unfortunately, so did her fans. Of course, the police blamed it all on poor Rick, who disappeared the same night. And little Walter? Hiding under his bed the whole time. He took it all pretty hard. I'll say. That's another story. As for Barbara, tucked inside the music box is all they ever found of her. <sighs> oh dear. Good lord. Now that's what I call a real eerie tale. <laughs> Edie, why did you save that? That's just downright creepy. Edie told me all Barbara wanted was to be remembered. As absurd as that comic was, maybe what Edie saw was a happy ending. So much tragedy. Good lord. And actually, y'all, on that note, this is probably a good place to stop. Um, let me know what you think in the comments below if you want me to keep playing this. Um, later on this week, I will get back into playing Narcosis and then Amnesia shortly thereafter. But in the meantime, you'll have a wonderful evening, and I'll catch you on the flip side, alright? Peace.